Yes, sir. Big Stewie checking in, man. Trapping out of trap box. You know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? You know I'm always connecting with folks. It was only right. Mm, this is like a family member of mine. My little brother been grinding for a long time, been putting it in, putting it at work. He deserves his credibility. He deserves, um, he deserves his flowers. You know what I'm saying? Young flowers because he still got more flowers to go. One of the most incredible producers coming up. I say that's already on. That's, fair. that's still working. That's still grinding. Still got the hunger. Go Grizz, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir, how you doing, man? Man, what's up with you, bro? Happy to be. Grab that microphone right there. I think that might be a little better. Okay. Yeah, man. Bless. Can't complain, brother. So what you working on, man? <sighs> Come on, man. That's a big question. Is what, what am I not working okay, on? Okay, so this first one, of all, man. okay, let's run down some credits real quick, so so people can put a name with the face. Go Grizz is the tag. Name some of the big records that you had like Man, in the past two years. In the past two years, of course, everybody know that. Put it on the flow, rip me out the plastic. I've been acting. Come on now. Come on. I'm gonna go like Grizz. So uh, we just. We so just, you you I'm gonna go like Grizz. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, all right. Yeah. All right. I knew that. I just wanna let them know that. I'm the guy y'all on go like. Come on now. But um, yeah, we just did um Sunday service. I just did Yeah Glow with Glorilla. Mm. Um, Red Ruby the Sleeves with Nicki Minaj. Done records with Drake. Done records with. Tons of Kevin Gates records, A Boogie, anyone under the sun you can name. I've, I've had my 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 time. So what's the what's the grind like? You know what I mean? Because I feel like people think that it's like producing and making the music, being behind the scenes is mm-hmm. is they don't really know what the process is like. It's it's a harder hustle than rapping. It's it's definitely you got to be the one that understands how to operate every aspect of what's going on in the room mm-hmm. down to making the beat. Mm-hmm. Song arrangement, right. vocal producing, writing a song, recording, knowing what plugins to use, and oh, I think we should put this effect instead of that, or I think we could say this better. Like you gotta have the ear to produce. Mm. Now it's a difference. A lot of these quote unquote producers are just beat makers. Come on now, I know Good about that. Good at making beats, but when you get in that room, you're just gonna play a thousand beats and dip. A real producer, whether it's your beat or not, you gotta understand how to produce. How do we get the best record? Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, how do we channel the proper energy to maximize what we got in front of us. Mm. That's, the, that's the hat you got to wear as a producer. And I don't mm. think a lot of these young producers understand that. Like, I came up in the era, thankfully, where I caught the tail end of real producers. Like, mm-hmm. I started making beats 2010. Mm-hmm. So if you think about who was popping in 2010, you know, you got your Pharrells and Timberlands and, you know, the Dream. And, like, and they can still come back and do the same thing because they understand the music. Yes, they have longevity. They could pop out again today, like JD and Brown Michael Cox, as exactly. you see with the Money Long record. Exactly, my boy Troy Taylor, like goats. You feel me? But it's a lost art form. They're not really getting in the field anymore. You got all this YouTube producer. I could just put my my stuff out right here. I'm gonna just you know send a bunch of email blasts, and, and that's not that's not producing. So what made you decide to just like, you know what, I want to be a producer. I want to actually put together these records and just like you said, maximize the sound. I want to add my input. If it's whack, I want to tell you, no, that ain't it. Do mm-hmm. try this or try another line or this line ain't it or move this or say it like that. Like mm-hmm. what made you decide to say, I want to be a full-fledged producer? Because I knew I had the knowledge. Mm. I paid, I put so many man hours into doing it. It's like inevitable that you're going to learn everything if you're paying attention. Mm. You know, I'm a I'm a detail oriented type of guy. I gotta understand everything. If I if that's what I'm dealing with, I wanna know everything. Right. So I took a lot of time and spent a lot of time learning and crafting, paying attention to what I'm learning from, you know, dope songwriters that I'm in with other producers that I see are actually producing. What does that mean? Like what does that entail? Okay, he made this decision. I like I see the difference. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like just being a sponge, taking in all the information that I've learned just throughout my journey and applying it and now it just makes the most sense. So my, so wait a minute. So how many years you in making beats? You said you started in 2010. Started 2010. I signed my first deal 2013. I was a senior in high school. Mm. And ever since then, I've just been rocking out. So was you in a band? Like what was yeah, you? Yeah, you know, well, middle school I was in the band, and I figured I was decent at music because every year I switched instruments. Mm. You know what I'm saying? And I made the what they call symphonic band. That's the band that go in play at festival and got a sight read and do all the cool stuff. Mm. Like if you was in concert band, that was just because you, your mama had a saxophone in the attic and was always like, okay, yeah, you don't got to pay for nothing, just go do it. You know right. what I'm saying? But I actually took a liking to music. I've always been a very musically oriented type of you person know, anyway. kid because my parents put me on a lot of great music with different family members and stuff. But um, when I got in high school, I couldn't do band no more because I was in high school for art. Like mm. Visualize. I draw and paint and sculpt and 
use a pottery wheel, photography, all that. Oh, so you do you, you like that? Like yeah, that? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it's all like creativity. Right. You know, I I, know, I noticed the similarities between even that and music. You know what I'm saying? But long story short, I used to see a lot of these guys come to school with their laptops and rapping and making beats and doing stuff like that. I'm like, man, what's that called? They're like, oh, that's Fruity Loops. I'm like, bet. As soon as I figured that out, went home, downloaded the demo on my mama's desktop, mm. computer in her bedroom, figured it out. Mm. Trial and error. Hours. Everybody knocking on the door. Hey, you want to come outside? Hey, we got a party we're going to. Hey, we... You locked yeah, in. Uh-huh. So at that I'm age, at that young of an age, you was just like, this is what I want to do and this is what I'm going to do for the rest of my I life. I was so fascinated by it. Because mm. you got to think, like, I'm sitting in that art room, me and my homie, with the gummy headphones. I'm, I got one, he got one. We used to play a game where, like, who can notice the most minute sound in the beat? I bet you didn't hear that little pew, pew, pew right there. In the, right. I bet you didn't hear it. And it, not knowing, I was training my ear. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can hear stuff at a microscopic level. That's why the details is so detailing. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Come on now. So, but, um, so, so, the, so the process. So do you have, did you ever have a mentor, like, uh, of like a, like no, not an OG. Like like you never got a chance to get in with Jermaine Dupri no. and Nigga, and the Polo and Don, trial and, and the Timberlands. Like, no, I ain't had none of that. YouTube tutorials. Wow. And it, and back then when I started, it wasn't as many YouTube tutorials as it is now. You know, you might sit in on a YouTube tutorial for thirty minutes and not get the information you're looking for. But back mm. then, you know what I'm saying. Now, you got a lot of different tools to help bring the information, you know what I'm saying? But shit, back then I had to figure it out. So this all self-talk? Man hours. Sitting in front of that computer, damn near teary-eyed, because I could hear it in my head, but I don't know how to translate that to the music. my medium. Like, how mm. do I get what I'm hearing in my head into this computer? Mm. And when you don't know the information, you don't know the terminology, it's frustrating. So I had to learn that. Like, what is this called? Like, what's a reverb? What's a what's plug-in that I using to get this sound? Why is this... Piano sound better than this piano. Why is this string sound more realistic, and this one sound cheesy? How does a, 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 a orchestra work? What is it? What instruments are in a band? What like I'm trying to figure it out. Mm. What sounds they using? What you know? One thing I used to do. I used to, and shout out to Mike Karen because he he's the one that put me on the. Mike Karen still around? Oh yeah. He Mike got to be Karen ninety thousand years old now. No, he's still young. That's he my dog. 30s. No, Mike, my boy. Mike, a Mike, Mike pull out of that flow rider stuff together. Yeah. Back now, in the Mike, day. Mike is a good mentor, I'll say. Yeah, Mike is Mike's you know cold. Because that's, that's who I signed to. You know what I'm mm. saying? He, he put me down with a lot of different information and, and just tools to help navigate through this shit. Oh, if you sound to Mike Kern, you out there anyway. Yeah, he know what he's sure, doing. For sure. He, he different. percent know what he's doing. He's different. He overly know what he's doing. But I, um, I, I just took a lot of time just figuring it out, man, and, 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 and trying to understand the reason why certain sounds sound better than others because sound selection is so key. Right. What Mike Karen used to have me do was I remake beats from hit songs. So like anyone who did like a No Flex Zone remix, mm-hmm. uh, them type of hit records back in the day, mm-hmm. I would remake the beat, throw it on SoundCloud. Mm-hmm. And everybody was doing remixes to my joint and to the point that I had to stop because people started thinking I made the record because mm-hmm. I was getting so good at it. Like, mm-hmm. But what that trained me to do was understand you know, there's a lot of sounds that could be similar, but what's the best one? Mm. Why is why is this bell sound better than this bell? Mm. You know what I'm saying? And that's how you that's how you, you, you make hits. It's about sound selection. That's part of it. So basically one thing you're telling me is that anything you wanna do in your life, if you wanna put your mind to it and you say you wanna do it, it's possible. Yeah. It's definitely possible. That dreams come true with hard work, dedication. Thousand percent. Mm. Real life. And I, I'm Handicap, in a sense, but I made my handicap a uh, strong point. I'm going to say why I say it's a handicap. Yeah, what's, what's handicap? I can't play the piano mm. at all. So when I started, I couldn't afford to get a keyboard to sit and learn. Right. By the time I did, I'm sitting in front of it like, man, I can't play this. What I did develop, though, is the understanding of how to click it in manually on the mm. piano roll. If you use FL, you know what I'm talking about. Right. I draw all my melodies the hard way, note by note. Wow. Yeah, that's what a lot of people don't know. You'll think, I, I understand how to make it sound like you played it, but ain't nobody touch no keyboard. You can really, really draw I in your drew. notes. And I can do it without listening to it. That's crazy. I can make a beat right now with no headphones, nothing. Just while we talking. 
and then hit play. That's talent. So when was your first big placement? Like, do you do you remember like what artist you was like? I made it, and you realized, damn, I ain't make it. Right. <laughs> I, I made it, but I, yeah, that's, um, that's not even a single. Early records, cause like I got my foot in the door with Kevin Gates. Mm. You know, we got signed to the same people around the same. Shout time. out to Gates. Shout out to my boy good Kevin. Good friend, good man. friend. So I really been on almost every Kevin album since like 2013. Mm. So that's really how I got my foot in the door. But Kevin Gates wasn't Kevin Gates that he is now. Right. So that was kind of someone that I grew with. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, one record that I remember very strong that was popping in the city was shout out to TK and Cash, man, with that three times in a row. Mm, you did that? Yes, sir. Three times in a row. Uh, three times, times in, in a row. row. Yes, okay. Sir. That was a banger, a street banger back in the day. And um, that that showed me like, okay, wow, I got a song on the radio. or Wow, I'm looking at the reaction in the club. Like, they really eating this shit up. Like, I, I, I can do it. Mm. You know, then I came with records like Thick. You remember Thick? thick. Yeah. What you mean? Thick. Two chains of OT Genesis. You I did can't that? even pass on it. Yeah, you walk around with Come on, man. On. What? Classic, right? Okay, keep going. Keep going. You now I'm intrigued. Me? You feel me? Then thick, we got, thick, thick, yeah. thick. And it's still going in the club right now. Going crazy. Supposed to be in love, Kevin Gates. That was a big one for me. I didn't know how he was. Supposed to be in love? Supposed to be in love? We supposed to be in love. But that man, was a jam. A banger. You know what I'm saying? I had a lot of people hitting me up about it. Like, man, you don't even know. This shit helped me get through this and that. And I'm like, oh. Close your boat, cool. Wow, but yeah, come on, keep away uh, 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 You still got some more, man. Keep going, bro. Like they, because it's shocking because people don't know. Yeah, people, people don't know your rundown. Like no, you know what I'm saying? Because first of all, I will tell you one thing: people don't read. <laughs> And yeah, then you yeah, always been so, a laid back yeah, guy. Yeah, you ain't super cool flashy. Shit. So yeah. sometimes people that's just not loud and mm -hmm. obnoxious and just ah, mm -hmm. they kind of get you know what I mean looked over. But mm -hmm. okay, give, give me three more records you done done that they, people might not know. Um. Power with Kevin Gates. You got that power over me. Mm. That went crazy. Um, oh, you the baddest. Future and Nicki Minaj. $1,000 in the sky. What? Fuck them hoes, yeah. For sure. And then put it on the flow. Then and you, got, then, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, 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 I got um, Pussy and Millions, Drake, 21, and Travis Scott. Did that one. Uh, uh, it's a man. So what's next? Like, where does the hunger keep going? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, don't, you don't work with the biggest. Who haven't you worked with that you really like, I got to get on the album? I got to get on, like, a SZA album, Rihanna mm. album. Um, I want more with Drake, you know, your Travis's and stuff like that. My main concern now, though, is finding my own artist to cultivate, to mm. bring to that level of stardom, mm. you know? Because it's, it's, it's one thing... You know, getting placements with all the big A-list artists and stuff like that. That looks great. That's it's good for repertoire. It's good for legacy. You want to do what that. Mike Will did with but, Ray Shrimmer. That's where you really, really get the stain. You want to do what, what exactly. Jermaine Dupri did with Bow Wow. Exactly. And, the, exactly. and a numerous other acts. Exactly. That's where you get the real... Timber and Aaliyah. Exactly. Missy. That's where you get your real... Mm. Okay, yeah, he's a, he, he's a real producer. He crafted some shit out the mud. And made it into a real diamond. Like. So, so what type of artist are you looking for? What do you look for in an artist, and what what stands out to you? It's not even necessarily a specific sound because I can do anything. Mm -hmm. Whether it's pop, trap, rap, R and B, soul, Afro beat, country, wherever you want to go, we can go there. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? I think for me, I need an artist A who has that same drive I do. Because mm -hmm. if I'm out working you, that's a problem. Right. That's a real serious problem. Right. I already made my way. You trying to figure it out. If right. you're not as hungry as I am and I've already accomplished all this, what are we talking about? You out the door. You out. Goodbye. Other, other Another thing I need is someone who's willing to listen and apply mm. what's being told. You know, a lot of these guys, especially these young guys, they think they know it all. They know what they're doing. Or, oh, yeah, I got some shine off of doing this. I'm going to just keep doing it the same way I'm doing it. Like Don't work like oh, that. No, it don't work like that. You're going to burn out quick. Mm. So as long as they ready to learn the information and apply it, I think I can make anything. Shake. And you've been doing something special too, like doing this beat raffle. Oh yeah, let's talk about it. Let's come talk on, man. About so it. What, so so the beat raffle you can actually um, actually um, put in. 250 or a certain amount of money, I don't know the exact price, but put in a certain amount of money, get into the raffle to possibly get a beat from you. Mm -hmm. Now, are you in the, Are you going to the studio with them? Studio session, the whole shebang. You get, You're going you to get, give them a record. You get the real grizz. I'm not trying to bullshit Wait nobody. 
That's so you I'm telling saying. these folks out here going to buy Prada shoes and these uh, big dumb ass yeah, shoes yeah, and these yeah. big dumb ass pants for a thousand dollars? Thinking they doing something. You, and you, really you buying want. beats off YouTube and you can't even get no two? Come on, let's talk about it. You really trying to elevate your career, man? Listen, independent artists, up and coming artists, aspiring artists, anyone who trying to elevate their career, this is an opportunity for you. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm doing this raffle, two hundred fifty dollars. You buy a ticket. That gives you a chance to be in the running to get a free beat. Mm, you gonna write it and off. And studio session. You gonna write it off. With Go Grizz, yeah. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let them know your Instagram. My Instagram is at Go Grizzly, G O G R I Z Z L Y. Hit me. Come on with it. If you really, if you really serious about this music shit and you trying to take your shit to the next level, holla at me. Come on. Do not miss out on the opportunity. We're announcing the winner on. February 29th. Mm. So it's right around the corner. Still got time. It's right around the corner. And another thing I want to tell you a lot about, because I got to commend you. You know what I'm saying? You know, I don't. I feel like black fathers don't get enough credit, especially black fathers in the industry, mm -hmm. because the man hours you put in was staying in the studio late night, and you still get up and take care of your babies. Mm -hmm. I got to salute you on being a father. Nah, I appreciate it. You know that, what I'm saying? Man. Holding down and still thriving yeah, and pushing. At this point, that's, that's what I'm in it for. Come on now. Legacy. Come on now. Legacy. Go Grizz, ladies and gentlemen. Big Stewie. Yes, Lord.